Okay, we're back. So, I've taken the liberty of whipping these egg whites ahead of time, where it says the recipe calls for them to be stiff, you know, but not too dry. We're very, very close to that. That's pretty good. So we're going to take about half of these, maybe a third. What we want to do is lighten up the souffle base mixture and we can be a little bit more aggressive with this at this point. Then we're going to go back into the larger bowl. <laughs> now we're going to fold it maybe a little bit more gently. So turning over like this, cutting things back down inside, lifting, pulling back down. See how the spatula is kind of cutting back into there like that? And we want to turn the bowl as well. We get a little more even mixture. Hang on one second. You look of a, a thirst for sure when you're doing this stuff. Okay, we'll, we'll keep going. So it's okay if it's a little streaky. It's perfectly fine. You can see there's a little bit of egg white in there, and that's perfectly fine. So we're going to take there, we're going to stop right there because if we keep going, then we're going to start deflating too much of the air out of the souffle mixture. So we'll take this, we'll dish these up right here. Now you, I did mention we got Parmesan cheese uh, coating on the outside. If we wanted to put some nuts, I'm going to take the liberty of putting some hazelnuts, uh, some toasted hazelnuts in with the, uh, the recipe uh, at the end. We're going to keep that one out and I'll explain why in a second. Um, or another nut. If you want to do some pecans, it would be good also. Or nothing at all. I mean, you can just leave it just uh, with butter if you wanted to do that. You know, when when you when we finish the um, the mixture with the milk in it and I tasted it, I want to make sure you taste definitely some, some seasoning. It should be seasoned very well, with salt and pepper. Not overly so, but definitely a noticeable amount. So you can see we're filling these up pretty high. Oh, this could be ridiculously perfect, but then I would expect nothing less from myself. Just kidding. We may have to borrow some from Peter to pay Paul here in a second. Okay, and the first one might have a little bit more in there than we need. You can kind of see how forgiving this, this mixture is right here. There. So I've left this one conspicuously out. So over here, I've got some boiling water. We we'll take that. We won't need it all. I'm going to take this water over to the stove. Pop that there for a second. So we've got the souffles in a little Pyrex dish. That's going to go in the oven. Hang on one second. Towel first. Okay. 
That's going to go right there. The reason why we have hot water is we want to want to put cold water in there because the cold water would take a long time to heat up. So we start with hot water so the cooking process continues on. That's probably good enough. About a quarter of the way up. And then we'll take our last souffle and put that in the oven with, with, the, with, with the other guys. Close up shop. And then again, on the, on the recipe, I think I said 20 to 25 minutes. So we'll start with maybe, say, we'll start with 17 minutes. And then we'll look at the uh, souffles, maybe rotate the pan for the last maybe six or seven minutes after that. All right, we'll be back to show you the finished product.